My name's Debbie Pollard. I'm the Public Works Director and I've been with the city for 20 years. Um, the last seven as the director. I was a city planner, so I've uh, worked my way through a couple different departments here at the city. So the city of San Leandro is located on the East Bay, the side of San Francisco Bay. It encompasses about 13 and a half square miles. Population a decade ago <laughs> was um, just under 90,000. So we're a, I guess, a small to medium sized city. When the COVID uh, first hit, the response at the city was somewhat varied. Trying to figure out who's essential, who's not. Um, you know, the easy is police is essential and water pollution control plant, you know, sort of the, the two 24 7 operations. We, I think, were completely shut down for a week. And then based on what information we were getting from the county health office, trying to figure out what services that we provide here in Public Works were allowed and what weren't, and those changed day to day. <laughs> and we always had a lot of questions back for the county. We kind of fumbled around for a couple weeks and, and then figured we need help. <laughs> And that's that's when we that's when we called facts because we realized we needed to have a plan in place first for um, addressing how staff was going to come back before we could even open in any of our buildings. So that's where we are. Right now. I have had a great time working with the fact staff because it's been a very collaborative and organic process. I th thought it was refreshing that they even admitted themselves. You know, this is changing daily and you know they're having to keep on top of things and just the ability to exchange information and tailor um, the safety program to to us has been a, a very good working relationship the color coding i think came up um, that they came up with is very good because not everybody is a word person some people are visual um, and then having the coordinated you know if you work in an orange area Having the coordinated information sheet, I think is just, it, it's a great way to roll out a program. So we're just now starting on implementation of the safety program, which includes getting all of the staff trained. We've gotten the managers and the supervisors trained, and we're just now starting with the, the remainder of staff. The delivery method is working well, having it web-based, so everybody, whether they're teleworking from home or at their desk, they can participate in the training and we're making all of the documents available on a common drive for, for staff can go uh, have access to all of the documents at any time. So it, you, you get the transparency that the, you know we're not, we're not hiding anything or we're not kind of uh, parsing out stuff a little bit at a time. Everything's there available for staff. Those who really want to take the deep dive, they can go do that. The plan, I would say, has been very easy to follow. Madeline and David have been great to work with in terms of you know, reviewing the draft documents and asking questions like, what did you mean by that? And you know, a couple of ahas and some things it's like, eh, that's not applicable to us, take it out. So just having that back and forth conversation has been really good. I would absolutely encourage people to, to have this program done, especially me, even though I'm a public works director, uh, this is not my subject matter expertise. Just being able to call up Madeline and say, this is the problem, can you, can you address it please, has been immensely helpful so that I can convey to staff. Also, I think it's good to have an outside person do it because not everyone's gonna trust me necessarily. And those, again, may know just like me, like she's not an expert in this, like what the heck, why, why is what she's saying, you know, the, the word. So when I can say, we have hired an industrial hygienist firm, this is what they do day in and day out. They are the subject matter expert, experts. They came up with the protocol and the guidelines. I think goes a long way um, in the implementation phase in terms of staff's um, willingness to accept the information and, and do what it says. I would say I wish I'd called <laughs> like two weeks earlier. Because uh, we really, the first couple of weeks we were all just kind of like walking around in a fog. And again, because this is not anybody's day-to-day -day area of 
of what they do. We were at a staff meeting and and we were kind of lamenting like, well, when are we going to open back up and how are we going to do this? And so I kind of like raised my hand and I said like, I'll go hire the industrial hygienist because I knew that we needed to have that done, have the buildings assessed first um, and come up with a return to work plan before or else we were just going to be floundering forever. So I would encourage people to do this sooner rather than later.